This video will walk you through a problem on how to calculate the utilization of different workers in a process and identify where a bottleneck exists. Here's the data for the problem. You may want to stop the video to familiarize yourself with all the details. A medical equipment testing and calibration service is shown in this diagram. The customer brings the equipment to the service center. The service process requires the service technician to perform three steps, one through three. Each technician is cross-trained so they can perform any of the steps. There's an inspector that does step four alone, and after that, two parallel work activities are performed. That's a shipping clerk that packs the work in step seven, while simultaneously a billing clerk prepares the invoice in step five. Then the customer is contacted by phone for pickup. The average throughput is three equipment units per hour. There are four requirements for this problem. Requirement A asks us to calculate what the service rate is for each service technician. Requirement B asks us to determine the labor rate utilization percentage for a billing clerk. Requirement C is looking for the labor utilization rate percentage for the service technicians. And requirement D asks what job represents the bottleneck in the process. So let's get going. The service technician service rate is simply the sum of all the activity times. So 8 plus 17 plus 25 equals 50 minutes per unit. We can then translate this to a service rate per hour by taking 60 minutes in an hour and dividing by the rate of 50 minutes per unit to get a service rate of 1.2 units per hour. Requirement B asks for the utilization of the billing clerk. For this we use the formula where utilization, U, is equal to the demand rate divided by the service rate times the number of servers. The demand rate is stated in this problem as 3 units per hour and the service rate is 60 minutes per hour divided by 10 minutes. That's 7 plus 3 for activity time. That's 6 units per hour, and then multiply by one billing clerk. The result is 3 divided by 6, giving us 50% utilization for the billing clerk. Requirement C asks for the utilization of the service technicians. We use the same formula. The demand is stated as 3 units per hour, and the service rate is 1.2 units per hour as we calculated in requirement A. We multiply that by the three technicians. 3 divided by 3.6 equals 83% utilization. Now requirement D asks us to identify which job is the bottleneck. But in order to do that, we have to first finish calculating the utilization for the remaining inspector and shipping clerk. So let's do it. The utilization for the inspector is calculated as a three unit per hour demand rate divided by five minute per hour service rate times one inspector. The five units per hour is calculated as 60 minutes per hour divided by the 12 minute per unit activity time. Three divided by five gives an inspector utilization of 60%. Then finally, there's a shipping clerk. We take the three unit per hour demand rate divided by the service rate of 2.4 minutes per hour. That's calculated as 60 minutes divided by 25 minutes of activity time, and then multiply by one clerk to get three divided by 2.4 or 125% utilization. The bottleneck is a job which has the highest utilization. And in this process, it's the shipping clerk at 125%. Adding another clerk would cut the utilization in half to 62.5%. Knowing the utilization rate of every job in a process helps us determine where the bottlenecks are and where pressure in the system can be released.